Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Lydia and my channel is all about styling, rewearing, and basically trying to make your life easier when getting ready. Um, it can be quite a struggle sometimes and um, hopefully my tips will help make life a little bit easier um, and make you feel more confident in your day-to-day -day life. So I just thought I'd preface the video with that because we're talking today all about an autumn capsule wardrobe. So I do one of these every single year. Um, so I don't want to be too repetitive because you can go back to my previous ones and find very similar pieces in. So I don't necessarily want to repeat the same content each year because the point of a capsule wardrobe is that you can wear it year after year. So what I'm trying to do instead is basically make it very, very succinct. I've really narrowed this down to absolute key pieces um, and maybe things that are a little bit more, not necessarily on trend, but a little bit more in the spotlight this season. So hopefully you will really enjoy this video and find it quite useful. You may already have some of these pieces, but I think the idea of these capsule wardrobe videos is to make you kind of think about those pieces a little bit more. So basically, I think I've got two of everything apart from tops. I'm going to start, oh, and the belt. Um, I'm going to start with the coat. So I've only got one coat and I don't necessarily mean you need a navy one, but the concept of this is to have a smart, long, kind of straight, this is quite straight. It's slightly oversized, but not absolutely drying in fabric that it's like so on trend. Just like a kind of loose-ish fit. I think these coats you cannot go wrong with. This one is my old Zara, which I've banged on about, um, but I know Forth and Reckless do a similar one. I got this in a size medium. So I kind of went for that slightly more oversized feel, um, and I just think these go so well with everything. And they're a coat that you can take from very, very casual to really dressed up, um, and I think if we're thinking about a capsule wardrobe and what that means, it's very minimal pieces that can um, kind of translate to lots of different situations. And this kind of coat certainly does. Um, so like I say, I don't necessarily mean navy. Find a color that you think will really work in your wardrobe. Something like a black or a beige, a camel. Just a kind of basic block color that you know that you'll get a lot of wear out of. So I could see this styled up in the evening. Um, you could definitely get away with some strappy heels with this. You could put a dress underneath and this would look so chic over the top just as your outer layer. It's definitely smart enough to wear for work. And then you could wear it for casual. I love kind of dressing down a smarter coat with some joggers and some cool trainers. I love that look. So it's a really versatile piece and something to note about this is that it's not too structured and boxy. Like I say, a little bit looser. We'll sort of cover all bases. So my next piece is a blazer. Now I do think a good blazer is really worth investing in. This one is from Sana New York. It's a tweed and I've been wearing this a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, at Lydia Jane Tomlinson, by the way, you will have seen me wearing this on there. And actually, in a reel, I showed how you could wear this for the evening, and I think it's something less expected for evening wear, but I paired it with um, a silk dress and some heeled boots, and I think that look really works for evening. So find a blazer, again, a bit like the coat that you can kind of make work from multiple situations. I think a tweed one like this is really, really nice for the autumn season because it's quite heavy and thick, but also um, not too much of a coat. For those slightly warmer days, you could put a jumper on with this over the top and it wouldn't feel like you're absolutely roasting, but it just gives you that extra layer. And you could take this from everything from Sunday lunch, again, to work wear, weekend shopping kind of outfit, and like I say, to evening, something a little bit more unexpected. So those are my two capsule wardrobe jackets. So, trousers next, um, but before I talk about these, just want to take a minute uh, to ask if you could hit that subscribe button if you've been watching my videos and enjoying them. Um, I would very much appreciate that. We are growing in subscribers and it's lovely to see you all here. So if you could just take a little second to do that now, it'd be much appreciated. So trousers now, I do talk about these a lot. Classic black, 
or cigarette style trousers. Again, find what works for your body shape. Um, here it's really hard, obviously, on me to talk about all the different body shapes and the different styles because I buy things that are suited to my taste and my body shape as well. Um, and I'm not going to go out and just buy a load of trousers for the sake of showing it. Um, and also, they wouldn't work necessarily on my body. So find a kind of style and shape that works for you. These are high-waisted. I personally like a high waist. They go out a little bit, but you might suit um, maybe a lower rise, something that's a little bit straighter and slimmer fitting. Um, so I would suggest going to try a few pairs on if you're not sure, but a classic pair of black, slightly cropped trousers for this season for me is the absolute ultimate because there's so many ways you can wear these and if we're talking about kind of longevity and wearability now these would go with everything from your chunky boots i would tuck these uh tuck the slightly slouchy leg into chunky boots or i'm going to show you in a minute some riding style boots which they would look really chic tucked into i think they look great with kind of every style of trainer these work with even kind of high tops i think they look really chic with um especially high top kind of trainers in this season because our ankles are not as exposed because of the higher legs so i think they really work with this crop style trouser heels work with these well um, and even a long boot i think you could tuck in with a blazer would look really really chic so there are so many ways to wear these and they work again for every single occasion and you'll hear me saying that a lot throughout the video but these really do work for pretty much most things you could even make these work for very very formal with a really dressed up top and pair of heels so they're an essential oh by the way these ones are from novo london again a bit more of an investment piece but they really are beautiful quality so i will link some alternatives below some slightly more affordable alternatives um, but if you're looking to invest in a pair and find you're wearing them all the time uh, these are a great one to go for my other pair of trousers is a pair of straight leg off-white denim now i went for an off-white because we could go for a black in this season we could opt for kind of a more kind of dark and muted color but what i'm trying to do lately is not shy away from light colors in this season because i think they look really chic and again a little bit more unexpected so these are the i think they're called the favorite cut from Under the Stories. Um, I've had these for years and so they've brought them back in a slightly kind of newer version, but they're the same concept, I think, same color and straight leg style. They work so well. These are a 28. I think it recommends on the website to go up a size and I would suggest doing so as well, but they're just great. Again, wear with everything, wear with lots of different styles of trainers and boots and jackets and tops, but they're just really flexible because I know jeans are a real capsule wardrobe piece, but I thought a lighter color like this is something just slightly different that's still equally as versatile. And I think also looks a little bit smarter than blue denim. Three tops to talk about. And the first is this knit. This is from Marsala London. This came in yesterday. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, this is a perfect capsule wardrobe piece because it's got so many great elements to it. So first is the shape. It's not too long. Um, but it's also not super cropped, which is great because um, I find cropped quite hard to wear. And equally, we don't always want a really long jumper. So that kind of great in-between length um, is so flexible and versatile. You can wear this more with skirts, things like that. And then something else I was absolutely obsessed with are these shoulder pads. Now I do know that not everybody suits a shoulder pad, so maybe avoid that if you are quite top heavy as well or have quite boxy shoulders already. But um, for me, I think oh, more often than not, a padded shoulder is very flattering, especially if you have something a little bit more cinched in at the waist, it creates that kind of hourglass figure. And I think the padded shoulders means you can definitely translate this a little bit more to evening, which makes it a lot more flexible and versatile. Um, and the same with this neckline, it's not a huge chunky roll neck. I think they feel a little bit more daytime again, but it's this kind of, I think this is what we'd call more of a turtleneck. That basically means, I think, again, you can wear it a little bit more for evening too. But this shape, it's classic, it's black. At the end of the day, it's a black knit. These small elements, I think that's what 
everyone should look for when shopping. Those small elements that just elevate the piece to make it work for all different occasions. Again, great for workwear, for the weekends, for the evening, kind of if you were going from desk to dinner kind of look and need something quickly, you could be wearing this in the daytime and then in the evening just swap for a pair of heels, red lip, big earrings and you're good to go. So that's a really easy transitional piece that works for so many occasions. Oh, before we go on to the next jumper, let's talk about this shirt. So um, this is from Weekend and Beyond. A classic white shirt uh, for autumn, winter for me uh, is a great piece to have. It just works kind of by itself if it's one of those slightly warmer days with a coat. I think that's a really chic look with the blazer or you could put a jumper on over the top or put it around your shoulders um, and kind of make it work for that. But I think classic white shirt. Again, you could dress this up in the evening a little bit like how I'm wearing now with some layers of jewellery. This, by the way, is all from my collection with North School Woman. We have some really, really exciting things coming up. So kind of stay tuned for that. We've also got restocks uh, coming in very soon too. Um, so just thought I'd mention that. But the white shirt with some layered jewellery like this, again, works for evening, pop a red lip on, pair of heels, such a chic evening look. But um, you could definitely make, I just noticed some fluff on it, um, but you could definitely make this work uh, for daytime. Again, work wear for each weekend, worn with a pair of jeans and trainers. You could even wear this with a pair of joggers and kind of style them up a little bit. So white shirt. Great white shirt is always a good way to get. Finally, for tops, so I only have three tops to show you. It's this round neck jumper. And again, go for something that suits you, your tones, um, your coloring, your shape as well. Um, but for me, a round neck jumper, go for a V-neck probably if you're a little bit more top heavy. A V-neck's a little bit more flattering and um, brings the eye down a little bit especially if you've got kind of bigger shoulders, but a round neck or a V-neck, basically anything that's not a high polar neck, because they make such great layering pieces with all your shirts and blouses. And this one I particularly love because it's not too thick and bulky and heavy. This one, again, from Sana New York, they do the best pieces. I absolutely love them. Um, I love this color as well. It's like a kind of stony, yeah, it's like a, st a light stone goes with everything. So what you need to be looking for is a kind of goes with everything round or v-neck jumper in a colour that you love and know that you'll get so much wear out of and you'll find they're very flexible. Again, they also really work for evening, laid up, get some jewellery on over the top of it and you can really glam a jumper like this up. I love wearing kind of like a nice knit and midi skirt look in the evening for this time of year. So really great piece um, and something you should definitely look out for in your capsule wardrobe. So we have three things left. One is the basic belt. I have talked about this in quite a lot of videos. This is just from Arquette. Um, I find something very similar. There are lots of these around at every kind of pack price point. Um, I love Arquette because they've got the quality but also not too expensive. Um, I'm sorry for people in the US, I know our cat doesn't ship there yet, which is so annoying and frustrating for you, but I think you've got under the stories, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but they do similar kind of things. And let me know if you've got cars in the US as well. I'm not sure whether you do, but I'll try and link something similar anyway, because I do think this one's sold out, but just something quite thin. I've gone for the gold buckle here. If you're more of a silver wearer, maybe go for a silver uh, buckle. But as you know, I like mixing and matching my hardware anyway, so I don't think it matters too much. But just this size in the black, I find it just goes with so much. And you'll notice on this, I've not included any skirts and dresses, and that is because I just wanted to keep it so minimal. I just wanted these to be your absolute like core of your wardrobe, and then anything else you expand on. And I think, People get very confused between a capsule wardrobe and basics because I could go on and on and on with basics. I think there's so many different varieties um, that are great to have in your wardrobe to layer up and kind of mix and match together. So a capsule wardrobe, I would say, is different from basics because we could have millions of those, but the capsule is really those absolute key pieces that they, you can then kind of take to mix and match 
with um, slightly more trend pieces. Basically, these are the essential foundations, building blocks for the rest of your wardrobe. So, footwear. I've got two pieces of footwear left. Firstly, you may have seen these on Insta. These are my duo boots. And what is so great about these is that basically you can have the option to measure your calf. It is so hard to find boots that fit correctly on the calf area. I'm sure so many of you will agree. Um, basically, you can order off duo boots a measurer. It's called duo tape. And I do have a discount code for that as well, actually. Um, these were a PR product. Um, it's not sponsored by them, but they did give me a discount code for the measurer. So I'll leave that in the caption box below. So I just think that's so useful. And this pair is beautiful. Really, really good quality. You can see, I don't know if you can see actually, the stitching around here, very much attention to detail. What I love about these is you can see they go up a little bit at the side. They're a real kind of classic riding boot style. Now these boots are a real classic. They are having a moment at the minute. I've mentioned a couple of times now that I think the riding boot style will overtake the chunky boots that have been around so much. Uh, and if not overtake, then they'll definitely come into the foreground alongside them. I love these riding boots. I definitely prefer them to the chunkier style. So I'm really glad that they're having a moment at the minute because I think they're just so flexible with everything. I think they look really expensive as well. Sometimes the chunky boots can look very trend led, but these I just think have a real classy, expensive air about them. Um, I have found some more affordable alternatives. If you just kind of want to dip your toe into this a little bit, H&M do some great ones, which I'll link below. Hopefully they're still in stock. But yeah, I think these are just so great. Tuck them into your longer trousers like this, wear with skirts, wear for the office again, but dress them up a little bit more at the weekend. I just absolutely love everything about these. And finally, a pair of classic white trainers. These are a little bit scuffed up now, so excuse the scuffs. Um, some people sometimes comment um, that I need to clean my trainers. Yeah, I probably do, but that's life and your trainers get worn in, they get scuffs on them. Um, I'm not too precious about my clothes. I just like to wear them and enjoy them. And I don't have time to be cleaning my trainers every single time I've worn them, because let's face it, we get scuffs every single time we go out. Anyway, these trainers I think actually look a little bit better when they're a bit more battered and worn in. Um, but these are my Nike Continental, Nike Continental, no they're not. <laughs> Adidas uh, Continental trainers. I wear these so much. They're very, very warm as well, which is why I've chosen these. They add a bit more warmth in this season. Obviously, um, it gets a bit colder and I like to have warm feet because I get very cold very easily. Again, they go with lots of different shapes of trousers. They look great with wide leg trousers and you can dress them up a little bit more. Um, obviously, they're quite casual, but I think if you're in a smart, casual office environment, you could pair these more with like wide leg trousers and a blazer and then you know, dress it down a little bit with these. It's a great pair. I've actually ordered a pair of high top Converse in uh, white leather because I thought Converse, you can't really wear out in the rain when it's just a canvas pair. So I've gone for a high top white Converse and I think, I think if I had these here, I'd probably put them into the video because I think they're going to be a real great piece for autumn winter. That said, I prefer to wear tra trainers this shape with a skirt, but I wouldn't wear that as much on a cooler day um, because you'd have your legs exposed and I wouldn't want that. So yeah, I think the high top Converse would work just as well um, and I'm looking forward to wearing those, but um, just a pair of classic white trainers, you can't do any wrong in these. And my final piece I forgot to mention is this Pullen black bag. Um, it's just such a classic. I feel like it goes with everything on the rail um, and I think you can't go wrong with kind of boxy, not too big, not too small, black bag. This is great because it's got the two handles. Um, it's a fab size, really easy to get into. And like I say, um, it just goes with everything. And I think you can get a lot of wear out of this. So I can't believe I forgot this. I'm glad I did because I wanted to mention as well that there will be a lookbook following this um, where you can see the outfits combined in lots of different ways. So let's get on to that and thank you again for watching.
hope you enjoyed that and found it useful and um, if you did please give it a thumbs up those little thumbs up i really appreciate and also leave me a comment below let me know what you think of the video any ideas you'd like to see from me don't forget subscribe 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 and i'll see you in my next one bye